right, we're gonna go over how to replace a seat belt in your BMW coupe. Found a lot of videos on how to do it in the sedan, but none in the coupe. So I will attempt to show you how I did it. I already did the driver's side, which sadly I bought it off eBay and it sucks. It doesn't retract very well. So I'm kind of tempted to put this other one in because it seems a whole lot newer. I just really don't want to take that back apart, but we'll see how I feel when we get there. Anyway, enough with that. So the first thing you got to do is there's this cover right here that covers up the torques that you need to get to. If I had two hands, I could probably get it. Otherwise, you can just pop it off. Underneath, it is a T50. Oops. Like over there. Now this bar goes back into the chassis, which you twist and pull out. Getting it back in is kind of a, a challenge, but not impossible. So that is the base part. I cut mine already. So we're gonna reuse this. My seat belts I ordered came with new ones. I'll keep it with it. All right, next step, remove the rear seat. So you just grab here, pull up, there's two little latches. I might have to have two hands to do it. But you just grab under here, pull up on it, and it should pop. It's this wood trim also just pops off if you get behind it how did I do that I think I put a plastic provider behind it that pops off set that aside now you're gonna have one there Those little ones are let's see, T20. So, remove those. done. Now comes the fun part of popping plastic clips. Now if this was a nice car I'd probably take a little more care in doing so but if you've seen my other videos about this car it's been wrecked. It should have been totaled but it's got a clean title. But on the other side I started down here and pop these and I was able to pull this panel away. I didn't unhook it all the way from the back. I pulled it far enough 
I could get my socket in to release the um, seatbelt mechanism that's right here. And then right here, you'll have another one. And then right here, you'll have two eight millimeter bolts to hold a little retentioner thing. So I'm gonna try to pop this first. popped it once here and there's another one that seems to be about right here right where the cushion would be there we go and there is plastic pop right behind here and there's clips up along here that hold it near the window I think and I think there's one here as well this is that seat belt butler or whatever they call that thing Which, by the way, is really hard to get back, so take your time. Now, where'd my light go? Those are the eight millimeter bolts I was talking about. It's got one there, one kind of behind this. That we'll have to get out eventually. On the other one, I think I accidentally broke it, but I need to pop that clip there. That one appears to be missing, so. Maybe this will just slide out. Maybe I need to pop it. Where's my tool? Just take your time because I'm BMW brittle plastic. Even though it's fairly new, it's still brittle. Now, I think this slides down. Someone broke a little clip on the other side, but it went back fairly well. There we go. Didn't break this one. Good. So that piece there goes up into that, slides up when you put it back. Now you have another. T50 and you also have a T50 here as well so one T50 there one T50 here two eight millimeter bolts and then there's a clip if you get back here far enough and dig under this insulation there is a clip there for the uh, airbag thing that's in the in these the reason why we're replacing them because the airbags went off in this car setting that off so undo that then there's a clip there it can be popped off then you unhook these two from here the other bad part is I didn't realize it. Make sure when you order your seat belts, if you're ordering them on eBay, that they come with the uh, the airbag charge if you plan to uh, place them properly. I just wanted seat belts, so I'm not too worried. I can't get this with one hand, so I'm gonna put, you unhook this from that, and then we'll unhook this. But I gotta use two. All right, got this clip undone. Now it's uh, another T50, like I said. Sorry, probably missed all that. one up 
here. And then after you do the eight millimeter bolts, you can uh, put the new one in. But like I said, I'm kind of on the fence about redoing the whole driver's side since this belt works way better and I'm pretty sure I will be using the driver's side a whole lot more than the passenger. So it would be nice to have a, a decent seat belt that gets used every day instead of a crappy one. I should have checked that, but that's my bad. All right, I'm gonna do these two eight millimeter bolts and pull this assembly out. It just, there's this little latch here, but pull it straight up. That's it. So you get rid of your old one. See that blue something fierce right there? I don't know what that is coming out of it, but do not remove. Anyway. Alright. So the new one, as you can tell. does not have those and look I even I think I even put them in backwards it's strange maybe there's models that don't have those uh, charges in them I don't know but this bigger part is on the opposite side which almost makes me think I did it backwards I'm gonna regret it if I don't do it. All right, I'm gonna go redo the other side and then we'll put this side together. All right, I replaced the driver's side with the good one. I'll put the mediocre one over here. Maybe we'll see if the eBay seller will refund me some of my money since this thing has seen better days. That's for dang sure, look at this thing. It's like permanently folded in half. Saw some fraying down here. Yeah, she's a little rough, but um, let's get the passenger side one in. So to do that, and obviously I did it right the first time because there's this little L piece right here that's supposed to go on this. And see how they put that bend in the lip? Yeah, they're not supposed to be compatible, but I figured if I forced it on there, it worked on the other side. Or maybe that's how it is supposed to go so it doesn't come up. I just brutalized it. No, definitely not. But it's in. So if you're balling on a budget in a coupe, the uh, passenger will work on the driver's side. Note to self. Sorry, my finger keeps getting in the way. I'm trying to do this one handed, but obviously, I'm going to put the bolts back in. So, I'm going to do that real quick. So, you get the bolt put in the bottom down here, get it tightened down. Feed it behind this. You gotta put that other eight millimeter bolt back in it. And then your other T50 up here. Tighten that down as well. Oh, yeah. Alright, got my eight millimeter bolt. Down. 
And that is that. And then we can reassemble this. And then with uh, that'll come down here like so. I also noticed on this one that it's missing the retainer piece right here. You know this, uh, so it doesn't slide all the way down. So I'm kind of glad I switched them because that's super annoying when your buckle falls to the floor. All right, well, that's the majority of it. The rest is reassembly, and I know, I mean, most of the time it's put back in the order you took it apart. Next step, you need to make sure you feed your seat belt through this hole before you attach it to the floor, or you're gonna be redoing it all again. So, I don't know, hopefully that'll show it. Feed your belt through. And then there was that piece I showed you, you slide up. Slid up and then it's up all the way. This piece, so uh, there's that clip there, and there's the hole for it. Which, if it doesn't clip, it means you're not slid up far enough, but it's hard to do one handed. But slide this all the way up, make sure that's pushed in, make sure your belt's fed through, all before doing this panel here because the panel holds this in like I said so it goes through that holds it all together so do that I'll tell you what this plastic up here is a complete nightmare I cannot get this thing to go together I'm to the point I just want to break it I'm gonna try not to in my anger because it probably cause some rattling but I mean seriously 2013, you couldn't think of something better than that. Anyway, so I'm gonna work on this and then we'll reattach this. I'll feed this down to the bar that is not there anymore. Well, we gotta put these screws back in. Both of them. I think they're lining up. Yeah. And then we'll snap this wood trim back on. Should be easy enough. But usually not because BMW. One hand it. Wow, that was a terrible view, but I think I got it. down, there we go, wow, that is a legit twisting and looking terrible, maybe that's what it's supposed to do, actually I've seen a couple of these torques that look twisted, I wonder if it's to prevent stripping the head. Kidding, stripped it. What the f Lovely. At least the panel's on. Alright, this piece just snaps back in. Better than the rest of the car did. Move all this out of the way. Put the seat fill back on. Okay. Now we got the bar. And this, if you, uh, it's gonna look a little weird and awkward, but if you stick your finger in and feel up in there, you know, like that. Uh, you can feel where th it goes in like this and hooks up in, and then you rotate it so this end is flat. 
So enough with the uh, innuendos hooked up in there. Rotated like that, and it lines up. So we'll feed this. How's that one? Straight down. Right? Straight down. Or is that facing the other way? this around that loop. Probably just before putting the bar in. But like that. So it's around there. And I put the bolt back in here. Tighten that down. And this side should be done. The sides this trim. So I'll pop all this weather stripping back in, tighten that down, and we'll test them out. Alright, all the weather stripping is back, all the trim is back. So the last step is putting the seat in. It's pretty straightforward. You just hook it up under here and then clip it in these by either pushing it down really hard or just sitting on it. Make sure you grab your seat belt so it comes out as you do this. I have this rear view camera system thing in here that came with the car that has sorts of wiring everywhere. It's like the previous owner tried to rip it out real quick and did a crappy job of it. That's tucked back in there, push it back, seat belts through, everything that's lined up, and give her a sit, click, and click. Done. Seat belt replaced. I've never done this before in my life, and like I said, it's doable. I did it in about two hours. Well, I need to tighten that and put the cover back on, but that's the majority of it. If something I did helped you out on your car, be sure to like the video, subscribe for more content, and we'll catch you on the next one. I'm gonna tighten this up and we'll go dry them out. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.